A friend of mine who works in the public schools asked me to create a lesson, a tutorial, showing how to take Microsoft Word and a spreadsheet, Microsoft Excel, and create labels that you can print out in a sheet. So let me show you one way to do that. I'm going to need to load a blank document. So I'll click on File, New, and just click on Blank Document. And now what I'm going to do is move over above the ribbon to the Mailings tab and click on that. It changes the ribbon. I'm not going to choose Labels like you might expect. I'm going to do Start Mail Merge. Then I will pick Labels from the drop-down. It asks me for my Labels options. Uh, I'm going to leave it on page printers and the default tray since most labels today come in uh, tray form. And the, for the vendor, I'm using Avery. You can use this drop down to pick a different brand. And then you have an option of scrolling through the label variations, the numbers. I'm going to use the 5160 Easy Peel address label, very common, and simply click on OK. The next step, once I've picked the right label from the right manufacturer, is click on Select Recipients. I will use an existing list since I'm going to take it from an Excel spreadsheet. And then I simply move in my computer file system here to the subfolder where I have my Excel addresses. I'll click here and I'll click on Open. Now I'm looking inside my Excel spreadsheet and I notice that it has, there are three sheets. I'm going to use the first one called Combined. And I do know that the first row contains the headers, so I will click on OK. Now it's time to create what will be on the first label. I'm going to click on Insert Merge Field. And this particular Spreadsheet has just three items, name, street, and city, state, zip all together. I will click on insert and close the box. Now I'll press the enter key to move down to the next line. Go back to my insert merge field. Now I'll do the same for street and do insert and close it. And now I'll press enter for a third time and I'll do insert merge field We'll do city, state, and zip, and insert that. And then I will close it. Now I have uh, put them in here. I can do some preview of one item. There we go. If I look at it, and I can move from one to another, see what it would look like. I'll turn off my preview. Now I'm going to click on Update Labels. Now if I preview the results, I get to see, it start with, with record four where I was before, we'll go back to the beginning. And I have five records in my database and I have a label for each of them. When I'm done, what do I do? I click on Finish and Merge. And I will click on Print Documents. I want to print all my labels, so I'll click on OK. And in this case, instead of printing them to the printer, I'm going to print them to a PDF file and I will pause the video. And when I open up the PDF document, which is equivalent to what would be sent to the printer, here are the labels at the top of the first sheet of my label sheet. And we're done. When you need to create a set of labels using Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word, the process you just saw should serve you well. Here at the Sharper Turtle, we'd like to ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you find the lessons helpful. That will get you into our queue so that you can receive information about new lessons as they are prepared. We want to thank you for the opportunity to help you here at SharperTurtle.com.